<clears throat> hey guys, I already made, you would think I already made a video of this watch. I had bought a 1962 automatic Timex, sent it out to get repaired. It really didn't need a repair and it needed a cleaning. Now Timex watches, they're, they're throwaway watches because there's no screws. Everything is riveted together. So I found a guy that can do uh, repairs on it, but it's a chance you have to take. And for me, it didn't turn out well. The guy, he really tried his best. He put five hours into the watch. So I had to go and search for another 1962 because that's what I, the year I was born. So it took a couple of weeks and this one surfaced. Now this one is rebuildable because it's a, this is not an automatic, this is a mechanical wind, but it's a 21 jewel and it's not riveted together. So this one can be serviced, cleaned, and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's my baby right there. It's so hard to imagine that these watches were about $11 59 years ago. And this one here, more, I, I even hate to tell you how much it was. It was a, it was a, almost a couple of hundred. To get it in this shape, you're gonna pay 150 to 200 dollars to have one in this condition, where the uh, the plating isn't all chipped up and the dial isn't faded, and it's uh, like I said, 21 <clears throat> a 21 jewel watch that can be taken care of um to some people it may sound foolish to spend so much on a timex but not to me because when i was a young guy this is all i wore and uh you know i could have got any year i wanted but i wanted the year i was born and believe me when i tell you this watch was not easy to find. The 62 is very hard to find. I was going to buy a 59 because that's the year my mom and dad got married. I was going to buy it for my dad as a gift. But uh, right now I got to lay back with the uh, spending money like that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is it, 1962 Mechanical 21 Joule Timex. Take care, people. Bye.